why is implementing MFA somewhat challenging for most organizations? And Kim, from your perspective, uh, and, and seeing so many of these implementations uh, from your perspective, what are your thoughts? Sure. Um, so I think Ram hit upon it, and you'll hear that theme uh, throughout that people are involved in this process. <laughs> we're, we're a challenge. Um, and so but some of the other things that stand out to me, um, budget, right? I think we've hit upon where I see cyber and MFA as a top priority, um, but even in the article that's on the tables today, the cost of doing it uh, becomes a challenge. And so some of the conversations become really difficult as to what can we afford versus what should we be doing as a best practice. Um, I think that's a, a big challenge. The other challenge is the cybersecurity talent to do these things. Um, it takes implementation, it takes ongoing management, you know, we just heard about projects and how MFA is a project, but then there's ongoing maintenance support, policy configuration changes. Again, people change. Um, and so right now we're in a cybersecurity shortage. So how do you have the resource and staff that are knowledgeable enough to configure and keep these systems maintained um, and so that the security is, is kept up to date and then educating people as part of that role too. So. Those are some of the challenges I'll point out. The other uh, uh, comment I make too is I think the the this all comes back to identity, right? And the digital identity. So I'm sitting here. I'm Kim Johnson. I know you're Rob. You're sitting well, so far. I know you're Rob. <laughs> um, and so how do you prove that in the digital sense? And the challenge we also see is that now if you have multiple identities for me, how do you really know which identity is the source of truth and which one needs to authenticate and be allowed to gain access? Which one's the legitimate user <laughs> versus the bad guy? Um, so I think that's kind of a, a challenge where we have all these, especially with the pandemic, right? Cloud systems being spun up, identities being created, access is important, but have we controlled who is the person and the identity? And then how do you make sure that's the one that's gaining access? I think is a, a big challenge to overcome. 